Hi guys, this is Taylor Mouse, um, and I want to introduce you to my um, script for importing StarCraft 2 models and Heroes of the Storm right into 3D Studio Max. Um, and additionally, I tested it on the StarCraft uh, 3 HD models that come with the public test RAM for, uh, from version 2.1.9 build 33891. So, um, first the things you require to, to run this script, uh, of course, Heroes of the Storm, StarCraft 2 or StarCraft 2 PDR version. This one is required to, to get a uh, hands on the uh, HD models from Warcraft uh, 3 that they um, supplied to the community. And how do you get this uh, PDR version is here, select uh, StarCraft 2. Uh, in this one you call, you select a PDR uh, version and you can check after you <coughs> um, it downloaded uh, what the la latest version is and you do require 2.1.9 uh, with the build uh, version and, and as you can see here already uh, that the Warcraft 3 assets are, are now in here and they can be used uh, when you do some uh, editing on the editor map for StarCraft 2. Right, <clears throat> what else do you need? Um, the cask viewer. Uh, let's go and see what that is. A cask is the, the new uh, MPQ uh, compressed file format for um, Heroes of the Storm and World of the Draenor. So the latest cask viewer allows you to uh, browse through the cask files in StarCraft 2, uh, sorry, in Heroes of the Storm, and you can export the, all the files, um, which is required for my script. Uh, so you better start um, exporting all of the uh, the files from Heroes of the Storm to your local drive, and and the most important thing to remember when you export is that you keep the file stru the folder structure uh, of the files in the cask uh, file why because um, the m3 files refer to paths um, and textures that are in this uh, folder structure so eventually you will have something like extracted alpha whatever uh, then assets and then all the stuff that can be found in uh, any of the cask uh, files, right? So, if you want to do the same thing for the StarCraft 2 uh, stuff, you can do the same, but you'll need the MPQ viewer, uh, which can be downloaded on this uh, URL. Same here. Um, same rules apply when you extract all of the files. Make sure they are in the same folder structure, right? So um, you can have uh, you don't have any issues when you import the files into 3D Studio Max. Right. What do you need? Well, 3D Studio Max, right. Uh, here is the URL you can check. I don't know if the Max 2011 is still available, but you probably can download somewhere a trial version. Um, the key for the trial version for the student software is for any version of 3D Studio Max the same, so you will be able to use a stu student key from 2015, uh, 3D Studio Max 2015 or 2013 or whatever uh, in any previous version. Fine, uh, next is um, Blizzard StarCraft 2 R2. You need to install this for my script to work because my script uses objects from the uh, StarCraft 2 art tools, um, especially the textures or materials uh, and so on. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, of course the download URL for my script. Uh, all of the URLs will be uh, found when uh, underneath the, the video. Uh, and the last one is, ah, okay, uh, C2 Mapster of course. Fine, so let's get started. Um, let's see, so the R tools, right? The script file and three import script by tail mouse version 1.0. Uh, 
of course uh, Blizzard where you'll be able to <coughs> download a lot of stuff. Uh, anyway, here 3D Studio Max and this is a little overview of the Warcraft 3 assets that are now available in the PTR. Uh, the MPQ archive and the cask storage uh, or cask viewer, right. Fine, let's go to 3D Studio Max. <coughs> so first thing, when you have 3D Studio Max, make sure you have SC2R tools uh, in the menu, that means it is installed. Second thing is when you downloaded the script, you will need to put it in the startup folder of the script folder of 3D Studio Max, or you can just go to Max Script, um, Max Script Editor. I have it already open here, but you can just say File Open and select uh, the file. Right now, when you have this to run it, press a Control plus E key, and it will um, it will install. Right, so no need for this anymore. Uh, I encourage you to open the Max Script Listener. And there you can see that all of the stuff is being uh, inserted and when you run the script it will give you some interesting interesting details right <coughs> uh, okay now on the right hand side you have uh, utilities click on that click max script and then um, in the drop down you will have telemasters m3 import version 1.0 which you can sel select and here you have some uh, checks that you can uh, check or or don't. Uh, right. So this works with M3 and M3A files. So let's pick one. Um, yes, this one I checked previously. Let's let's select the very easiest one. The pig. Press open. Nothing happens. Press import. And we start importing. Now, what has happened in the back is that it's giving you a list of bones that it doesn't didn't find. Uh, don't worry about these because these are actually created when it's not found. So bone not found, it will create it. This is merely interesting for the M3A file. When you import one, it will check if the bone exists. If it f the bone exists, it will get a reference to that bone. If it doesn't, it will create one. Right, so applying animation, this makes some, take some time. Some of the M3A files are five megabytes big, and they do take some time to import. Importing textures. So what happened is that the pig has three uh, textures: diffuse, normal, and specular map. Um, and he found them all three. If they are not found, he will tell you. The script will tell you that uh, I didn't find these files. Right. So. Uh, before we go check the animation, let's check what happened here. So um, all the bones are there, right? Um, they are in a different layer. Let's see. So I split up animated bones, attachment po points, bones, and, and unit. Apparently, uh, when you read an M3 file, references. Um, hit test, volume, targets, and so on are all referenced by bones. And these bones aren't uh, usually animated, they're just used for um, naming. I put them here, so right, that's why they're hidden. The animation bones, animated bones are uh, in a separate layer. And the attachment points are, so this one is the, the bone I was talking about. It's been hidden. Uh, it's of no use for for uh, for displaying. Um, I have given it another name, bone reference, because if you export this to StarCraft 2, it will give you an error because it's of the same name. <coughs> um, and the rest, so the the attachment point has been frozen, like you would do when you use uh, C2 Art Tools and then go to Display and then collapse SC2 uh, helpers. Fine. Okay, let's go back to our piggy. Then go to, to Starcraft 2 uh, animations, animation property floater, 
and it will pop up um, the animation property for loader. So the issue here is that the heroes or the hero models have a lot of sub animation tracks <clears throat> therefore the sequences are not stored here but the uh, collection of the sequences are stored here I'll explain later uh, what I mean so let's see uh, stand full select it. make sure update timeline so the timeline of max is updated here so the sequence starts at 50 and ends at I don't know what but it's 99 frames right uh, okay let's see stand animation fine walk animation there you go fine sorry here let's make this a little smaller uh, it doesn't look like that let's make it smaller right gel eyes I'm gonna zoom in because I know what's gonna happen I don't know how this works but you see me blink right um, I don't know why it's a separate layer I think because it says GL it means a, a global animation something <clears throat> and it's probably going to um, animate during any other animation uh, independently Fine. okay let's do something more exciting so let's reset this yes I want to reset I don't want to um, save it select my script again oops uh, here am I doing fine let's go to um, units heroes uh, let's take um, Nova mm. yes I am um. all right um, and now you can see there is a lot more going on here uh, with the hero. Uh, you can see there's a lot more attachment points. There's some blue boxes, red boxes. Uh, the blue boxes are the, the hit tests. The red boxes are the volume targets. They are, um, should I put this, um, hit frozen and set to display box only. Uh, exactly as you would or as would the StarCraft 2 art tools um, with, as I said before, display collapse a, a C2 helpers. Right. I just select everything, Control A, you, you see that frame 10 has uh, an animation key and all the rest is empty. So if you go there, nothing happened, right? Even if you go to um, C2 animations, animation property, floater, there are no animations available. So um, why? Because the hero animation and some of some of the newer models have their animations stored in a 3MA file, M3A file. Sorry. Uh, so let's do that. So let's get that. Um, select the file. Go to uh, where is it? Hero Nova required NMs. Uh, and down here you can select from M3 to M3A animation files. Um, since this is the new version of Nova, uh, you need to select the uh, 05 M3A file, right? Uh, and once you open this, I'll drag this over here. This is going to take some time, right? Import. So done. Uh, I stopped the, the, the recording, of course. Uh, it's not like it was done in a microsecond. So you need to close the animation property floater and open it again. And you will see now there's a lot of animation stuff uh, going on. Now the trick is here that, for example, walk A consists of two animation sequences uh, or 
two parts of animation sequences walk a full and walk a lower body mainly this means walk a is the upper body or the full sequence and walk a lower body uh, it's the the legs or in Nova's case uh, it's the legs uh, on here you can see that there is a lot of um, additional bones that have been added uh, and this is because these bones are required for not the Nova base but the Nova Ultimate for example and that you can see here bone ponytail ultimate zero one so if you would have imported Nova Ultimate it would probably not have said bow not found right fine uh, let's see here first get rid of these animation bones uh, hit test fuzzy fall fall target attachment points uh, just a unit here we go, let's make it a little small so I can hit the play button. And you will see that only the legs will, will be moving, right? And now you will see that only the upper body will be moving. Together, it will make a nice walking sequence. There's a lot of animations. I think it was 53 animations. Here you can see there is no lower body, and you can see that the upper and the lower body uh, is moving. Here we go, let's say stop. So the only thing that left is left to do is to export this model without even touching it or whatever. Pre press the preview button and you will, it will pop up this window. And there you go. Thank you for watching and hope you like my script. See ya, bye.